I'm activated! Like Lindsay! This bitch set me off! Well, I talked about t- traffic, y'all, and roads being closed. And <laughs> they Poodle's closed my road! And it was my hard street. for Poodle. And y'all, and, he, and his neighbor above him, <laughs> I think she was fucking her boyfriend in the bath, and they got water all over the floor, and, and it ran in Poodle's down. apartment. She said, y'all, hashtag prayers for Poodle. <laughs> prayers it, for Poodle. It has been a rough uh, four or five days. Just stupid shit. Stupid, stupid. Speaking of stupid, y'all, first of all, this is Below Deck, season six, episode eight. At your lack of service, sir. Huh? Lack- speaking of using the British action- accent, speaking of stupid shit, we said <laughs> on our, and this is on the free feed, so yeah. hopefully we'll say it again. We said, I kind of did a very dumb American thing, and if I thought about it, I knew the north that i knew ireland wasn't in the uk but i said it and yeah. i was like it's in the uk right and poodle said yeah and we both just it's y'all. my fault for not correcting no, you it's immediately both of our fault and it, y'all we've had a long week it's been a we yeah. just we're tired we we are, said that ireland we are was we are in both the UK. fucking irish we should yeah. know this that's like 99 percent of my fucking 23 and me shit yeah anyway we know you're not Irish. Let's clarify. So your 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 genes, genes are. are yes. <laughs> we know we Poodle and I have already talked about the Ireland apology. The Ireland tour. apology tour. So we so, we know y'all have been very nice about it, but we know that's a very charged subject. Yeah, we, want, we understand we your resentment, but y'all, your so, Irish sissies, y'all are being good sports about it. Well, so you're probably still drunk this morning. As I so. said, <laughs> if that pig would not have won the geography be. Back in elementary yep. school, maybe I would know. So, so I start getting your babysitters for all your kids now. Uh, <laughs> we'll have for that. those for that apology tour. It takes so anyway. a, takes a, a good babysitter to handle all twelve of them. Uh, oh boy! Well, we're gonna get more letters. Let's move on. <laughs> anyway, they can take it. They can take it. So we apologize. So okay, below deck. <clears throat> What you think? This episode was kind of a filler. Like, yeah, <laughs> kind of was. I wish I could, can we have a sound effect where it's st- <laughs> stamps like you can't do that on television? <laughs> <laughs> or like filler. Mary Children. Mary with children. Dun, 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 dun. Pink. <laughs> exactly. Um, this My is, father loved Married with Children. That makes a lot of sense loved now. Al Bundy. How he loved his toilet. A certain brand of toilet, and he'd stick his hand in his pants. I think L- I blame my mother. My mother. Oh, she hated. I, think it. I blame that show for a certain ethos of the nineties. I agree uh, with that. I agree with that totally. Yeah. Oh, she hates it. Um, boy, talk about talk about first. a show that didn't doesn't age well. Yeah. Well, maybe they show reruns of Married with Children. They, I think they do. Yeah. That's what you can see in the in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma on the afternoons. It's true. <laughs> KXII. <laughs> Stop. What? No, Texoma's news source. KXII. Yeah, and all the news anchors are look like twinks you would fuck in college. Because they're Ooh. no one fucking go. Y'all because no one stays in the market. Oh, I, I was I almost went into broadcast journal. I was interested in it. <laughs> and no, I, I would enjoy seeing you oh, be I, a newscaster. No, I want to do weather. I was fantastic at weather. <laughs> Fantastic! I even the guy who did the weather girl, the guy that does weather at ABC Seven here in Los Angeles, said I was one of the best weather people he's ever seen. <laughs> I was great at I, it. I believe y'all you. because the weather's not that complicated. You just say the weather, but you you need to say things like so. Everybody out in Antelope Valley, be sure to get your picnic baskets and bring your jacket with it too, because it's going to be a little. I said shit like that. But you have to be a meteorologist. Oh, I love that. I love that was my favorite. That I that was my favorite part of science. That's a science degree. Yes, I went storm chasing in high school. <laughs> we need to move I on. Do. I find my mother, this topic I could, ridiculous. I couldn't tell my mother about it. <laughs> she got really angry when she found out that I went and did it. The more I find out, what the? I think that your childhood and your life is like this ridiculous no, version with, of Tom Jones. <laughs> I did. I, no, me. It's well, actually so funny. Not Tom Jones, the singer. The Dickens novel. Uh, Joe Don Pritchett. He would storm chase. No, so I we're not him, talking about no, some ridiculous saying, person named Joe Don. <laughs> no, he was. Joe, it's, we were out Joe over Don. on, on uh, uh, what was it? It was over between Cheek Road and Mile. You could, <laughs> and yes, there's just a road called Mile. And so anyway, over at Cheek Road, that's when they had the tornado, the F3, that hit over at, you know what? You don't care. 
I can see your uh, eyes glaze over. Yeah. But all I'm saying is. I've ceased to care for about three minutes. Well, all I'm saying <laughs> is, is that. You could have been a weather, la- weather, weather lady. I could have been a weather lady. I enjoyed it. Wearing skirts. Oh. Because back, we had Gary Inc. We had scientists. Yeah. I loved meteorology. Loved it. I can still spot so- a wall cloud. <laughs> So it's 11 hours before charter. When are you going to get that huge bag of potting mix okay, out of your foyer? You need to focus. It looks like you're going to grow doobie in your bathroom. <laughs> Maybe I after this episode, I need it. <laughs> That's true. Okay, focus. Oh, God. This is why I don't have you over here. Yeah, you've been trying Your to do... energy in my house. You've been trying to do more remote shows. Yeah, because don't, y'all... Don't think I don't this, know it. it it's, he's a little, cra- he's a little less crazy on a remote don't show. Don't enjoy more of a person show? It's not happening. I'm coming over, and I'm getting those cords off your living room wall. <laughs> I've just been too... Chance. I've just been too tired and beat down to do it, but give me... <laughs> in September, I'll do it. Yo, we're going to keep it going so I can keep her working like a horse. Um, So... We are, uh, it's still, everyone's still drunk, God, basically. This seems like a week ago. Um, uh, and Z, Z and Courtney, or otherwise known as Chloe and Mav. Chloe and Mav, because that's uh, their party names. That's their names. drunken names. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, uh, they're still they're hooking sitting, up. Yeah. He's like, I'll invite you to Cape Town. And Courtney's so drunk that David tries to take her in to eat, and she just knocks her head out. She has, and Z, did you notice Z is trying to talk to Courtney, and his eyes are actually completely closed? <laughs> I, you, you understand how young these people are. Oh, God. And, uh, I mean, I, 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 did, I had a couple of nights like this in my 20s. But the thing is that they do this on I had ev- a lot of them. every trip. Yeah. Well, you have to let loose. But this is like so drunk. Like when I had I know. seven shots of Seagram Seven and chased it with Seven Up, Seven Seven Seven. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> it was a Mountain Dew. Oh God, it's gross. Anyway, but that they get like this drunk so much that like David's trying to carry her. Courtney, he can't lift her on the bed. It was it was really funny of him trying to be the hero. I guess we're we're too used to F Boy Island where all of them could just like fart whey protein and pick women up. Yep. David can't do that. Um, so the next morning, is it David who says, I feel like Bigfoot's dick? Oh, I miss that. Yes. Oh, just I wonder, ram- I wonder what that's like. I wonder oh, what, I'm, pretty I wonder fami- what, I'm pretty familiar. <laughs> but I wonder what it would be. Yeah. Why, is, why is that Ooh. a qualification? Is it, is it not a pretty dick? Um, I think it just, it's one of those dicks where, um, uh, where you you're going, you go the next day to get a Gatorade from CVS, and you wonder, should I get that bag of Depends that's on sale <laughs> today? Because it's going to be one of those days. Got it. And you're like, you don't want to, you barely want to drink liquids. You're not going to eat Mexican food. You're going to stick to like chicken, mashed potatoes, yeah, breads, something that's not going to go through you. Got it. No broccoli. Oh, Jesus, this is this is awkward. Am I getting too descriptive? Yeah. Okay, um, but you know what I'm talking about. Yes, oh, that's yes. what I think he. Meant. So, uh, Courtney pukes on her bed. Ah, uh, she pukes on herself. On Malia's bed. That's right. On herself. Yes, because you guys, she falls and this in is Malia where bed. I'm like, this seems like a lot to me because y'all, I've been drunk. They're in their twenties. I've never been drunk enough that I've thrown up on myself. Me either. <laughs> I've actually seen you do that. I've seen Poodle do that in a cab wearing a Liza Minnelli sequin outfit and full drag queen makeup and a wig. Yeah. Never got the... It's hard to get vomit out of sequins. It is. You had to pay for dry cleaning. I had to pay for dry cleaning for it. $70 or something Yes, it was stupid. Um, So the next morning, uh, Lloyd's telling everyone, thank you for last night. I've never felt so comfortable here. Um, which is I, I'm I'm so happy for Lloyd. Uh, he's definitely my favorite person on the boat. Yeah, this. I still his skin. He has the face and the skin. He looks like some. He looks like those act those character actors 
that were in Disney movies from like the 50s to the 60s. Yes, I agree. You know, like that guy, well, you haven't seen this movie. N- uh, don't talk about an obscure Disney no, Channel it's film. It's not an obscure Disney movie. It's Haley Mills. Okay. And it's uh, uh, the summer movie, um, Summer, summer Magic. Magic, which you've still never seen. I haven't. But it's the guy in Summer Magic who plays... Um, he reminds me of... Uh, is it Biffy? Of, of uh, Mary Poppins, the father in Mary Poppins. Yes, 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 yes. He de- does have that look. That character actor look. Um, and they put so much makeup on him. It's so much. I've got it. What's his name? Um, oh, oh, uh, uh, Gilly. Gilly in Summer Magic. He looks like Gilly. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We need to move on. Um, so the, the we're y'all. It's pref sheet meeting. It's a new client. It's a new charter. Jennifer and Patrick, aka some of you remember. I think it's probably back in season three or four. These people I are don't drunks. They look fun though. They seem fun. I and the, yeah, the, you'd rather have you'd rather have definitely these people than the last charter. These people seem not high maintenance. Yeah, but fun. well, we're but, gonna talk about not that. high maintenance, but also high demand. That's there's a difference. Yeah, I agree. They, they want an Oktoberfest, y'all. Yeah, beer because of course they do. Poodle's not high maintenance, but you got to keep. Wait, no, he's high maintenance. <laughs> I've got high maintenance. I have high standards. Very different. Oh, God. Um, yes, they're having Oktoberfest. Matt's bait you is like, oh well, I'm comfortable with that. I I've worn later hosen's before. Later hosen is the plural. There is no later hosen's. Later hosen. later hosen is the plural of later hose. <laughs> Sorry, no one cares. But I I noticed it. You do. You Sorry. have your own later hose. I, later hosen. It's a no, pair. It's a, but two. no, it's just one. No, it's two things. Short. It's like shorts and uh, suspenders. So the two things together make hosen. Yes, because, well, I, you know, I'm not exactly clear. Because I would think if you have one outfit, so I thought that would be, come at us, German sissies. Is that a later hose? I think. Because uh, I'm used to hearing later hosen as well. Because that's, that is the, it's like when you say I'm wearing shorts. We're, we're used them oh, as the plural, true. but it's one later. thing. Yeah. Do you ever say I'm wearing a short? No. Or you never say I'm wearing a night. I'm wearing. I'm wearing my pants. You're wearing pants. Although sometimes they say I'm wearing a nice pant. If you're in the clothing industry, no one gives a <laughs> shit about any of this. Well, you do say trousers, right? In the UK or shoes. Yeah, I'm wearing shoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're is just really talking in pairs all the time. Uh, anyway, I'm but glad but this later hosen later, later hosen is the plural. There we are. Shit, you don't care about. Yep. That should be <laughs> That should be my version. That's actually a little quiet that for the is, first time ever. That's what the theme y- y'all and that was another episode of shit you don't care about. <laughs> that one kind of works. I should host that podcast. Oh. Um so oh, you should. So Katie uh is she's giving Courtney the opportunity for service and guess who doesn't like that? Everyone's favorite Baham Miss Bahamas. I, I'm um, just so used to always being up front with people. I'm a second stew. Second stew is really important. She likes. She, she know this is not a surprise. We rotate yeah. on this boat. Well, and she she likes a system. She likes a class system. Oh. And it's how she li- it's how she figures out who she is. We've seen her scream at Malia about being a fucking bosun. And I was to say, she l- does she like a class system because the way she acts when she's drunk, the vitriol she yelled at all the people above her. Right, shows me someone who hates a class system. But no, it's how she gets. It's how she. It's, it might be how she sorts her brain out. Right, but I don't know if it's something she likes. I understand. You, I I was thinking that she likes the system where she's above people. Yeah, but she she doesn't like I being think below actually people. We're both right. Yeah, I, they're not. Right. I'm not I even think we're trying both. to be. But yeah, I assume she's yeah. trying. Um, she doesn't do good with authority. And y'all, they rotate on this boat. This is the point. Yeah, this isn't a surprise. I, I the um, the charter guests come up with a shirt. The shirts that say 
alcohol now. Poodle immediately Googled <laughs> where he could get that in a light pink. And there was another one that was like, was like, what are some other shirts that this crew probably have in their bags? Um, Definitely, I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. Yeah, uh-huh, yes. Um, uh, san- gimme, gimme, beer me now. Yep, um, sandals and sangria, por favor. <laughs> Those are the women, Don't usually. forget, por favor at the bottom. <laughs> sandals and sangria. Por- Hola. Por favor. Um, I think they've got one says alcohol is the solution is a solution. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jose Cuervo, you are a friend of mine. (laughs) Um, uh, I'm not queer, but I am queer for beer. Don't think they have that shirt. (laughs) Don't think that's the one they left out. Um, anyway, they're all terrible. All of these shirts are sold at like douche douche shirt dot com. Yeah, um, someone should make that website douche oh, shirt they'd sell com. out in an instant. Um, it's it's kind- all the shirts, y'all. You're gonna buy at the Cancun airport I was gonna say- <laughs> once you get to Mexico. I was gonna say where are you gonna get them? And they're and they're uh, and they're all the mascots. They have like little. Uh, little tags of like a chili pepper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, not, so, yeah. It's anyway. Good. I just want to go back to one thing. Why do you think Lexi chose yachting as a good industry? Because I don't, this goes back to the question we're going to talk about in the next episode. Why is she here? Besides getting famous, I think she wants to be famous and an Instagram influencer. Yeah. There's honestly much easier or less physical labor intensive types of jobs to do this. I agree. I think it was about the lifestyle of yachting. Okay. And what, even though she's working on that, she can have plenty of pictures on a boat uh, mm-hmm. and so in fantastic like, locales. So and she's like, it's clout. On, on her days off, she's like putting on an outfit. Yep. And taking a picture on a yacht. Yep. And so it looks like she's rich and famous. Yep. To I get think a it's sugar daddy. I don't know. I don't know if she's or thought that like, far ahead. Um, I think you're right in that assumption. I think she wants the life. I think she wants the life of one of these people who can rent one so of these yachts. So it's almost like aspirational for yes. her to do this. Yes. Okay. Because we all know she's got huge dreams, and she's like, "That's why the burn list. These people, when they see how successful I am, they're going to really regret how they treated me." Which, the, the best revenge is really to for, it's just to go on with your life and not think about those people. I agree with that. You have a more problem with revenge than me. <laughs> no, I'm actually, I, 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 when it, in the moment when it happens, I can be more retaliatory, but then I'm I on. see. You know, uh, I'm like, like, you've, like you've forgiven your teacher, uh, Bill well, George. He could die on the doorknob <laughs> for a look here. So... Um, they are, everyone, did you understand the woman who had her floaty around her is because she was the only one who wasn't with a guy, Chad? I think they just wanted to bring a floaty named Chad. But is it because she can't swim? Because I made this whole story about this woman. No, it's because (laughs) she was at Target and saw this floaty (laughs) named Chad and she thought it was funny. Can you imagine having to bring that everywhere just for a bit? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think when we do live shows, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to travel with the wig box because but, just so but, you can do bits. But I thought it was also because she might be the only single one. So she, I don't know. I don't know. You really thought hard about that. <laughs> it felt inefficient to me. No, completely. It, it's uh, some fun things don't make sense. Yeah, I'm not really into that. <laughs> No, you're not. I'm not about that life. Not, As Lisa says, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa on um, Love After Lockup. I'm about that life. She I'm all, not about that life. She's into butt stuff. <laughs> so uh, they tell, uh, one of the women tells uh, Katie that they drank 69 bottles of booze in seven days. Y'all, these people are too old to drink like now, this. Now, I... I, this they're they're past the age of normal fun partying drinking. This is a lifestyle, and this is kind of concerning. It's you know <laughs> what on one part I'm concerning, but another part I think it 
you know, they obviously do well. They work hard, so they get money. Yeah. So they're able to pay for this boat. And I have to say, they were a lot of fun. When we watched the Beer Olympics, I laughed and guffawed. I, I and think, I kind of, you know. I think it's funny when they're the butt of the joke. Yeah. My parents would have never done anything like that. I guess I'm not trying to take the fun out of it. I just think it's it ceases to be funny when they say, yeah, need a, my drink's empty. My glass is empty now. And it's. I, I guess it's not really funny anymore. Um, it well, it does. I think what you're hitting on is it seems like for them they have to have that alcohol to yeah. have fun. Yes, and that is a little like Ooh. not that they have to have alcohol to have fun. They have to have copious amounts of it, and they can't talk about anything else. Yes, like yeah. that's their one joke. Yeah, it's like a stand-up comic who said. Oh, I've just had so many beers. Y'all, do you like beer? Who likes beer up here? Once had sex when I had beer. <laughs> Lots of beers. It's their only bit. And then let's. And then in, in three minutes, they're going to be talking about how their dick's affected by the lots of beer. <laughs> that happens, I hear. Um, no, I just meant it. Every male stand-up comedian's going to talk about his dick. Yeah, that's true. Um, so... Uh, Malia, Malia's get, Captain Sandy is letting her take the boat out of the slip. Now, I will say, <laughs> as much as I, as much hate as I give Captain Sandy for her micromanaging and her shitty style of leadership, yes, she does allow people uh, to do to learn and learn on the job Malia and to do that. things. She's like, she lets me do kind of more than other, yeah. and you know, but that's a double edged sword because. In about 10 minutes, Captain Sandy's going to come and, and get on you about the motherfucking slide. And y'all, if you've watched this show for a while, like I have, you know the slide is always a problem with Captain Sandy. She's always got a comment on it. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So they're ordering Tito's and tea. Tito's. This I've never had Tito's and iced tea before. I've had iced tea vodka. I've had iced tea vodka, and it was good. I enjoy it. But uh, they're having Tito's and it's peach tea. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, it's Lipton peach tea. Y'all know you. I know how you feel about flavored teas. Ooh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> uh, you, the only not one. The fan. only one I like is that one at Mendocino Farms. Mm. That I think, think it's like a lavender. That's not good. <laughs> well, I don't. Someone's a purist about their tea. I am. Although I don't. I actually don't mind. Uh, I don't mind a, a, it's okay, a strawberry tea from Sonic. They put like. That's even worse. But um, what I, I don't mind peach tea if you're like actually having. Peaches in it. Someone put peaches in it. Someone puts fruit in it's it. It's the fruit flavoring. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, I get it. Um, so again, Lexi is, uh, do you notice how she said, you're Lexi? And she's like, yeah, I'm second Sue. I'm second Sue. Two. Yo, Got it? Two. Two's better than three. Take a drink every time she says, I'm second stew. Yeah, she's chief stew, but I'm second stew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See that one down there? See that, that British girl? Yeah, she's got smudges on her face. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little third <laughs> stew working in the bottom. <laughs> Lovely ladies. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's Les Mis yeah, poster. It's Courtney. True. It's that girl on the poster. Exactly. Um, and you know what she says? She goes, People always treat you differently as soon as you tell them what stew you are. It's just like, and I'm big on respect. Y'all, uh, what have we said about we people said? who are always wanting respect or she feeling said, disrespected? She, yeah, she even said, I'm very, 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 very big on respect. I could have called that when I first met you. Y'all, this girl is damaged. She, and She's she ain't long for the boat. She's got a woo. Uh, so... Of course. I feel, you know who I feel sorry for the most? Anyone that has dated her. Oh. She has destroyed ugh. them. Yeah. She's, she probably, oh. she, she kind of, she also probably gaslights a lot. You make, oh, yes. Makes them think a certain way. Yeah. And I th- probably cheats on them. It's, it's. And, and says, well, I only slept with him because you weren't giving me any, you weren't yeah. giving, you weren't making me feel important. It's interesting because if you go online or see anything, uh, usually there's one section of a when when someone when someone uh, someone is a kind of a controversial cast member or crew member. Usually there's a, some pushback against that. She's universally reviled. 
it is it's it's bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Um so uh of course the y'all these people keep drinking. They can't keep the drinks in their hands. Yep. And I was like, can we just give them big gulps? But I understand we're trying to keep them. We're trying not to. I, I know when, when I'm done catering and stuff. They would love it if you gave them a big Yeti. Yeah. They would be so happy. Here's why you have to be careful about doing this in service, though. They get too wasted. You, it, it is actually good for you to take time to dole it out. You want them to look for another drink. You do. Because otherwise they get wasted, you guys, and your service is ruined. Yeah. So they have to. I, I understand these guests don't get that. Because they think they think they know their limit and the crew doesn't. God, shout out to people in the service industry. Yep. I have no desire to do it. You, it's a, it's a, it's something for your twenties and early thirties. Unless you're <laughs> some of those people that really love it and do a career yeah. of it. God think, bless you. I think I would have stayed in restaurant work and 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 food and beverage if I didn't do music. I think because I liked it. But even with your weak wrist, how would you carry trays? Um, I would go up. I would move up pretty quickly not to do anything like that again. Oh, okay. I don't have weak wrists. I have small bird-like wrists. Yeah, <laughs> I think people tell you you were weak-wristed at a very young age. <laughs> Limp-wristed, yes. <laughs> yes. Anyway. I do have tiny wrists. You can uh, – people have always marveled. <laughs> Ladylike. I, I don't know if people marvel at them. <laughs> it's more of just kind of like. And ankles. I think more people are like, oh, <laughs> ugh, that looks freakish. <laughs> because my, wow. for, my forearm that, is kind of a normal that shape. That looks like. But it tapers down or, to. Was to, there an infection just in your wrist? <laughs> like, is it just sick right there? It does taper down to something that looks like I've used artificial means to do it. <laughs> Jesus. When I put on a watch, I, it always has to go. I have to always drill a hole to find uh, uh, the uh, Wait, drill a hole. Isn't that what they called you in college? <laughs> <laughs> Drillable hole. <laughs> hey, boys! There she goes. Um, yeah. So shout out Call to service. Hole. Shout out to our medical warriors, by the way, too, and our teachers. Yep. All going back. To All school. going back to school. Yeah, we're thinking Education. about you. And our nurse warriors. Yes, we are thinking about you. Oh. Our doctors and our medical staff. Uh, oh. So basically, um, we are, and they're also saying things like water, waters for quitters. It just stop. No, I agree. It, it just th- stops being funny. I agree. So finally, they sit and have lunch. And and meanwhile, yeah, they love it. Meanwhile, of course, because he, y'all, Maytu makes a really good plate of food. He does that. We're not gonna. Uh, he just he just says really annoying shit like how vibe check, vibe and, check, and oh, I made these olives last time when I was in a dungeon with the girl at a and sex she, party. She shot them out of her vagina in my Spent mouth. Spent one hundred fifty thousand on, on sex. her and shat on her. Oh wait, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not gross. Uh, Ugh. Meanwhile, Lexi's down in the brig, um, basically ironing. She's like, oh, Psycho Chef has clothes. Oh. This must. This looks like Malia's little black dress. She's just like working. She's practicing her best villain uh, really, impersonation. And, and she's, I actually thought she was making a list of everything she wanted to burn first <laughs> of the boat to start the fire Possibly. for the boat when she walks. Because, y'all, she has dreamt. Walking down the pier while a boat is bo- burning behind her. Oh yeah. Um, again, this is not a well person. No. Um, no. There's so much anger in her. It's disturbing. Yes. Uh, y'all, guess what? It's time for water sports. <laughs> Get your yellow hankies out. Woo. Um, and so all the all as as. As Captain Sandy says, I want all the toys out. Yeah, but and in me. And in me. <laughs> now Courtney says, and y'all famous last week, she actually says to Katie, she says, It feels like Lexi's doing better. It feels <laughs> like you had that talk with her and she's quiet. Y'all She's quiet because she's a simmering yeah. bubbling volcano exactly. about when, to explode. Yeah, when Mount Haints Mount Haint. Mount Haint Sellens. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, ah, y'all! When that's a glitch in you, we gotta we gotta <laughs> return <laughs> you. Um, robotic robotic malfunction. I wish we could. What was the wish we could send you in for tune-ups? I'd have them take out a lot of shit. 
You would. I will say, y'all, when Satan is silent, that's not good. Yep. Agree. You know why? Because when the demons got her. <laughs> when the demons got her. <laughs> the demons got her. <laughs> y'all, Demon Scott is on this next season of Life After Lockup. Coming She's got to glow weeks. up. Oh, two weeks. Uh, Christiana and John are, are taking John. Are, are, uh I saw the first look of the L- the Lalu first look, and they're they're doing their Bonnie and Clyde Photo cosplay. Shoot. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrible. It's- <laughs> they're trying to teach, and the photographer's like, "Yeah, look at her eyes. Look at her eyes." That they yeah. actually started yeah. a nonprofit called Bonnie and Clyde: The Real Story. <laughs> And they like to go around elementary schools dressed in cosplay <laughs> and teach the children about what a great pair of murderers they and were. give the children fake guns. Yeah, so they, and the, yeah. the, the whole the, the they just recreate the last scene of Bonnie and Clyde yeah, exactly, uh, and they throw out blood all over themselves. Yeah, and then bullet they, holds, and then and then everybody gets a nut butter with chocolate milk when they're done. <laughs> it's a really great nonprofit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing That's, because I that can is see something it. <laughs> kind of like in my school they would have done. Oh yeah. Oh, our principal I dressed up it. as an as a native chief. Because uh, he I mean he was a Native American. Okay, just checking. <laughs> no, full on we didn't know he was our principal and he was a chief. He came in and we was just we were it was fantastic. I was, I'm surprised you told me he was actually native. So I mean it was actually appropriate, whereas right. Them going in as Bonnie and Clyde, <laughs> they have nothing to do with them. No. And remember, y'all, they were killers. I mean, I wonder what Bonnie and Clyde's relatives think about that. I think they're ready to let that go. Yeah. <laughs> it's what I don't need to be remembered for. So, you guys, we are... Uh, but then in the next scene, Lexi is still shit-talking everyone. She hates being down there. She's spiraling. It's not yeah. going to be good. We no. know it's not long. So they're jet skiing, y'all. Um, Lloyd's taking the boat out from Anchorage. Yep. And uh, and there are basically they. You have to be three hundred feet from the uh, the uh, shore, and y'all, your folks are speeding. The police come by. We're going to talk about when Captain Hide San- the drugs! When Captain Sandy had to talk to the police. We're going to talk about that right when we get back from break. <laughs> we, uh, you need to, uh... Don't actually pull over. Barker. I hope someone no- didn't actually pull someone over. Uh, we, you, you need to not stay near the shore. And, Yo, uh, the popo are a flow flow. And, and you know what? We, built, we brought this up, but the, they only give them a warning. Yeah. I'm like, officer, don't you want to frisk me? <laughs> Is that it? Wait, really? Nope. You don't want to take me nope. downtown? No cavity search, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, so they're jet skiing too close. A non-issue. You, you don't have drugs in there, sir? No, but I could. <laughs> Yo, you. <laughs> What's illegal? <laughs> Certainly can't have a vape pen and some, and some Valium. Yeah. Do you know what that's? A, a vape pen and Valium. Because that's what got uh, Hannah thrown off the boat. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was it a Valium or maybe it was? I don't know if it was a Valium or Adderall. People were screaming, but that was that was the big. So, so every time someone says about C- Captain Sandy uh, that don't just don't don't let her see a vape pen because that's what she freaked out. And it was Malia who narked on Hannah. Oh, because she wouldn't share rooms, or she wanted to share a room with her. I can tell you're not processed. You haven't processed all this out. (laughs) Season five was nuts, (laughs) y'all. Even though I was not never the biggest, I liked Hannah, but I was never a huge, huge fan because I thought she was a bit surly. Um, But Mm. let's move on. So it's fine. The police say, "Do what you need to. Don't get near shore." Um, And Lex, we have Lexi saying. I'm totally the Cinderella of this charter, and she's it's like, driving me mad. Yeah, the fire alarm goes off because she, and then the engineer comes down to check and make sure it's not a fire. I think oh, d- Malia is currently. Can I start one? Dating Jake, the engineer, one of the engineers, Ugh. and 
Ooh. Not good timing for David, who who heard Malia say, "I'm not really looking. I want to be single right now. Be single right now, which means I want to be single and not with you. Not with you. <laughs> Yeah. But if a hotter guy comes along, I'm right there yeah, for because it. If you're really into someone, y'all, you'll, you'll do them. That's true, boy. Uh, so they are. She's. Um, I think it's so cute that uh, that Courtney has to be taught to make a martini. That oh, she yeah. hasn't. Yeah, she has no idea of what that is, and um, and so Captain Sandy, naive Courtney. Captain Sandy comes up to Katie. She's like. Um, well, how's everything going? How's it doing? And, and Sandy says, Lexi's been really quiet. And again, I wrote, when Satan gets quiet, it's not good. Yeah, I'm Satan tonight. Um, and Katie says again, you know, hopefully she's fine with it. This is the way we work. We rotate. I don't feel bad about this. And I'm very upfront about the this. big news, you guys, is that they, uh, Courtney was going down to finish the cabins that Lexi had started on. Oh, and yeah. she did a shitty job. She wasn't even doing it right like Katie told her to do. She's all, y'all, she's, she's somewhere else in What her head. happened because um, Courtney's basically like, Courtney basically says she's like, anything she does, that like, anything Lexi needs to do that she doesn't want to do, <clears throat> she does a shit job. Right. If she likes it, she'll do a good job. Right. And y'all, that is, I, we've never worked on a yacht, but we've worked in... We've worked in like theaters and things like that, which in theater it's very much roles are stratified. There's a stratified, hi- yeah, yeah, stratified. There's a hierarchy. <laughs> of- just said the same. Stratified. That's not what st- I- you said like stratosphere. Stratified. As roles are stratified. The- I promise you, Gary will Gary, roll like the tape. Uh huh. Well, well, that's what I meant to say. So roles are very clear, and there's a hierarchy, and you don't. You don't do somebody else's job, but you also make sure that your job is done to the letter. Yeah. So when when Courtney said that, I was like, yeah, she's not long for this boat. Yeah. We should mention there was this cute little cutaway. Y'all, spoiler alert. And it's not real. I just, it's just my prediction. Courtney and Z aren't going to get together as a couple. No. But they just like flirting and fucking around. But that little thing of her saying, well, I don't know. I do kind of like him. And, he, and them basically saying the same thing in the way they edit yeah. it together. But y'all, I'll just, be surprised if they do. They're just going to fuck on a boat once or twice. Yeah. Neither one of them are really. He would probably date her. I don't think she wants think to she settle down. Him. Y'all, if look. As someone pointed she's a out woo-hoo on the show, girl. well, she's a woohoo girl. And as somebody pointed out on the show when Jake and I said, "There's not any pretty people this season," and and all of the <laughs> straight men and lesbians were like, "Y'all are so gay," because all the women are gorgeous. It's all it's all and the women. They all yeah. are gorgeous, y'all. Courtney, she's not going to date a Z now. She's going to date a Z maybe in her thirties. Yeah. After her, she's been married to a really hot guy. That fucked her over because he fucked one of his personal training clients. Yeah, that's precisely what's going to happen. Um, also, you guys, the big news you need to know, or the, the news from this is the guests are having to fix drinks for themselves. And you know oh. these fish, well, they ha- need to drink. We're having to do it because Courtney tells Katie that shit wasn't done right. Katie has to go, has to go down with her. and help Courtney in right. the – and did, did the person already talk to Katie about what was in their room? Not yet. Okay. So – then that's when Katie comes back up and they're fixing their own drinks and getting their own wine. And Katie's like, I'm looking bad at my job. Yeah. Which is no one's which here. Which is not good. Which is so, not good. The, then they're, they're, they're putting together beer games for the guests. And this is the thing, you guys. Uh, I think we had um, someone, someone in like a uh, – someone asked the question, why is Malia – in, involved with doing games for the guests and stuff like that. The thing is, you guys, Malia is actually quite good at her job, and she knows she has to pitch in if, it, if it's with the guests. And she and a lot of times the bosun is the secondary head, it's the bosun and the chiefs too. So it's, if it involves the guests at all, they will be in the planning. Um, mm. So that's why Malia is coming up with beer games. I think it'd be fun to go on one of these cruises. I don't know if I get seasick. You would. It's a small boat. You'd get seasick. I don't necessarily want to go with you. I think I'd be lovely. Uh, oh, just bring me, bring me some, some hot, hot boys. 
I definitely we need to be on the other side of the yacht. Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, so they are uh, the next day. Uh, Lexi is working breakfast with Matthew, and she's not happy about it. Uh, no, she's not. And the, the woman said, I brought my own yerba mate, which, what do you call that? Uh, y- y- that yerba mate. No, what did you? Oh, yerba mate. <laughs> yeah. Yerba Y'all, mate. he once <laughs> said, I love, have you tried this? This is yerba mate tea. Do you, have you tried it? And I even like the brand that she, that and I didn't boat. know what you were saying. And I, I finally, you mean Yerba Mate. I laughed. Oh, my God. It, it, y'all are like, it's spelled M-A-T-E. That's mate. <laughs> Yerba mate. <laughs> um, you know words from other countries are pronounced differently. Well, they should make it English. <laughs> they should make it American. Th- thanks, Aunt Peggy. They should make it American so I can read it. Um, so they y'all, but are. I've, I've made many of Yerba Mate, and they only take about <laughs> four minutes to see to, to steep. To steep, they don't take long at all. So they are. The woman's waiting on it. She's like twenty two minutes on a tea order. Now she could be a lot worse of a Karen. That's why I think they're. They have a little bit of problem with alcohol, but they're a fun at least. Like like oh. the night before when he said. Look, we're having a German party, but don't make German yeah. food. Just make a they're, good dinner. We don't care. They're much more objective about it. They're not caring. They're yes, they're yeah. not caring at all. So, and they basically are sitting there with the. They brought up the food, and there's no plates. Lexi has not even done breakfast service, Yo, y'all. No we, cutlery, nothing like cut that. Cut to the pictures of her waking Doing, up on the boat and taking pictures of the of the sun of yeah. uh, the sunrise. When she did that, I thought, well, the. That that's the editing. The crew. The, it's just it's just chef's kiss. It is because chef's kiss. Uh, so the next thing, and even the, even the guests are saying like that. What's going on, Katie? Are you running a one man show here? They are saying yeah. that. Yeah, you're running everywhere. And and Katie even tells Matthew, she's like, "I'm gonna need you to come up and serve breakfast. I'm struggling here." Right. And Matthew comes up, and and then that's when y'all. Slide gate begins. So it's deflating, and Sandy says, "Why is this not hard?" Which uh, is a question she's asked many times. I'm yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Why is your nipple not hard? Why not? Um, and and as Sandy, whenever Frank, I love when all the toys are out. Love. I love when all the toys are I out. I think her and Liesel from uh, Lisa. Lisa from uh, Lolly would get along. Um, I don't know who, I don't think, I think both, they're, both of them are doms, though. <laughs> True. So, uh, and definitely both are micromanagers. Uh, True. So, Sandy, of course, y'all, anytime Sandy can take a tiny thing and make Malia feel like shit, she's gonna do it. Now, this triggered me, y'all, because working at the Cubicle Warrior job, this is, look, I'm kind of like in a position of me at Malia. Y'all, I've been at this Cubicle Warrior job for... It will next month will be well no almost eighteen years. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Right. So it's when you're used to doing something. I think you would get this at the bookstore when you had were doing something, and you knew when there was a problem. You knew why there was a problem. You knew yeah. how to fix the problem. And then somebody comes like in a, and says, like a boss or a manager comes in and says, "Hey, just do this this way. Or, I don't know anything or, about how you do it." Or they come and ask you questions about it. Well, why has yeah. this happened? But and you know what I would normally do? Yell at that person, even though we were my boss. <laughs> Y'all, why I, poodle doesn't need to work for anyone? I would when 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 I was questioned by a manager, I wouldn't think about seniority. I'm like, this is the way it's done. I already know. I told you. Or I would roll my eyes. You were a. I was such a, a fucking dick. Were you a Lexi at your work? Uh, no, I actually did work. Oh, that's what I you actually, did work. You worked hard. Yeah. Um, but, no, she's saying, why is this not working? But I, the, the pump's not working? Let me go ask the engineers. And Malia's, Malia's like, fa- oh, She's like, no, God. we have two pumps because we've got to air up stuff over there. And it's just, I felt for Malia because I've been here. Oh. And it's really frustrating. And then she hear Malia hear she's trying to eat. And she hears Captain Sandy going, I mean, she says the pump isn't working. There's this I don't awful... Think, I don't think she likes the slide. 
I just don't think anyone likes it. <laughs> I mean, I, how many? Can I can I throw them all on the bus and let and let me just do everything on the yeah. boat? Let <laughs> right, me guys? do this. Oh, oh, oh boy, worst captain ever. Oh, she's so awful. Um, so you, you guys who are jumping in, who this is their first season of Below Deck Med, you haven't seen half or a, a, a third of the micromanaging that that, Sab, that Sandy has oh, done. Oh boy! So buckle up. This is the beginning. Anyway, Katie is uh, uh, is basically saying to Lexi, "Why isn't the cutlery and, and napkins weren't there?" And she had kind of Lexi kind of gives this non answer. I had to go and do th- do stuff or something like that. You told oh, me to go. She was like, you told um, me to go do cabins. Uh, yes, sorry, I was thinking of Malia. I was still hearing her in my head saying, "I'm very aware of what happens. <laughs> I'm very aware." Calm down. And then, then Captain Sandy <laughs> acted like it was her problem, like yeah. Malia's problem. She was like, I'm not coming for you. Or what did she say? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not questioning your I'm authority. I'm not challenging you, challenging Malia. You. Yes, you are. And then Malia goes, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Y'all, because Malia will always roll over for What's Captain Sandy. What's your captain? Sandy. Yeah, but she'll, you, you can take, you can take a line, um, but she will. We will never. She does. There was a couple of moments in a couple previous seasons where she was a little, a uh, little cutting to Sandy, but and Sandy let her know right away that was not allowed. I think what is the best thing as someone in this situation that I've handled this quite a bit. Get non take all of your emotion and breathe it out and let it go, mm-hmm. and just try to answer exactly what the boss is asking you. And, uh, and, and keep it in technical, logistical terms, because every time that's what's happened, 99% of the time, I already know I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. And my boss then learns, oh, you're already taking care of this, aren't you? Right. And then it actually makes me look better. No, I agree. Because they finally come around to it. But Malia is taking this all so personally. But, it's but it's hard not to. It's Sandy with that face of judgment going, I'm not coming. Well, you know, you shouldn't be. This should be this I'm way. I'm just saying, I've had people come with me with that judgment. Right. Don't take on their energy and, yeah. and that just. It's this kind of fake labored punish. Oh. Uh, this, this patience, that this fake patience that Captain well, Sandy has. She doesn't care. She doesn't want to deal with this at all. Exactly. And the fact that she's having to deal with it. Is that's why she's upset. Oh, God. It's so and you're awful. Up, so then you take that on. You're upset that you have to deal with them even talking to you. So that's why unemotional is best. That's just my little, that's some cubicle advice for people <laughs> in the fields, in the, in the warrior-ness of cubicle warrior. Um, so, y'all, it's time for... It's the Beer Olympics, everybody. Beer what? Olympics. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. And to your point, uh, Lexi is just like, oh, I kind of didn't answer the question. And then, but she says in the, to the camera, she was like, oh, yeah, I just forgot about that. Yeah. So she doesn't admit that in front of Katie. No. And Katie does walk away and go, oh, fuck my life. So, so yeah, the Beer Olympics. Um, I wrote down, I didn't understand these games at all okay, because they were too complicated I, 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 for me. They're not supposed to be sense to these. They're just fun. I don't need <laughs> you to go on a tangent about the structure <laughs> of beer games and how if we don't play them accordingly. I didn't then understand. It, then it then it disrupts society. Oh, no, I, what I tuned out. I, oh, thank God. So I you're was, fine. I was worried. I will just say, y'all, it was fun. It looked fun. These I related to that one bitch trying to get up into that slide from the water because that would have been me. And then I think she got her butt done, like her. If you noticed her, um, I think she got a liposuction on yep. her ass because she her swimsuit moved up, and you just saw this huge bruise oh, on her no. ass. That's Maybe why, she fell. Maybe I hope she didn't fall. Regardless, y'all. Get your work <laughs> done. Involved. Don't be like Angela and get your work done two day, two weeks before the tell-all. Yeah. Get your work done. Before you go on TV. three to six months in advance before you're making that appearance you care about. Um. So it the big deal is one of the charter guests says, I'm sorry, I think Lexi was cleaning and she left the cleaners in our room. 
And didn't the, she didn't leave the cleaners in the room? We are. We are. And she Defcon al- four. And also, she never put towels in there. She there was a scene also where she looked at the shower and she's like, "Oh, perfect! Not never been used. Love it." Yikes! Yikes! Uh, then everyone's favorite leader, Captain Sandy, is telling Katie because she's complaining about Lexi. Just don't give up on her. Again, she's talking about nothing she knows about because she just yeah. she doesn't want to deal she's with. She's giving these random like like schoolhouse rock messages. Which is why, and Katie probably knows this too, y'all, I never go to my boss about a problem until I absolutely have to go to right. him. Because I know, he said to my face, he's like, girl, I don't want to deal with this. I think it's, I think she did not go to her. I think Captain Sandy asked her. She did ask her. That's um, but, and she's like, this is Katie's problem, not being able to, con- no, you were able to do this when she fucking called everyone uh, uh, she called Z Afrikaans, and yeah, I don't think and, they went into they didn't go into details about like I'm sure I will be interested when they do a reunion. Captain Sandy's reaction to Lexi's behavior. She's uh she's all over the place on reunions. Sometimes she's uh sometimes she uh she's selective at it. Sometimes she she's very she takes the political way to oh, talk we'll about see. it. Um. Anyway, y'all, the one thing we do have is Sandy's always got a plan. And if somebody doesn't if doesn't get taken care of, I'm going to take care of and it. And Norma calls and says, your stew has cleared quarantine. Your stew has cleared quarantine. Y'all, and we see next week a new stew is coming. Lexi's not long for the boat. Not long. Not long. That's the show. Y'all, that's the show. You can go to realitygazepodcast.com. Realitygazepodcast Pod on, on Twitter. In, on Twitter, realitygazepodcast on Instagram. Um, that's it. I don't know. <laughs> Come at us on Cameo. Cameo. Come at us on Cameo. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts. We appreciate that. We'll remind you, we're, if you're in the Sissy Squad, our Facebook group, which we y'all, we have fun in there. We're almost 10,000 strong. Um, we normally do a charity each month. We're not doing it. Just we, poo, poo too much to live and just kind of some charity fatigue. So we're giving yeah. everybody a month off. So we'll do the charity next month. But so, um, but still, anytime you purchase merch, we'll just do the merch that's been purchased for the month of uh, June. So we'll just give that to the charity that was in July. Uh, July. What month is it? <laughs> I don't even know You're where I am. Scattered today. I'm, am I in Oklahoma? Where am I, y'all? That's the show. Remember. Get yourself out there. It's summer. Get on that and water. And get fucking vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Go on a boat. And y'all. Anchors. Okay. Okay.